Hi everybody, I am going to talk to you about this bassinet by Kitco Dream Pod. I have a box right here. I've been using this bassinet for about three months now. Almost three months. My son is um, almost three months old. So this is the box. That's how it looks like. Okie doke, if you want to find it. I got it at Target for $129, I believe. Um, so anyway, let me tell you something about it. Oh, before I get into it, it's got this cover here that it's easy to carry. I'm not going to fold it. Actually, we've never done it. Um, but it's, 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 it's not too difficult to fold it. Um, and there's this beautiful picture right here that it's easy to carry. So if you want to travel, you can totally do that. And it folds to this position. So anyway, so that's one of the options. I've never used it. I don't have any intention to travel with it. But we've been using it um, for the past few months. And here it is. I'm going to tell you the dimensions. Okay, I have a tape measure here. It is definitely smaller than Puck and Play. It is about, oops, what is it, 30 inch? It's about 30, 30 inch right here. And it is 20, 21 right here. And it's about two feet tall, 24 inches. Okay. And it does not come with this towel, the white towel I put it in. You probably gonna have to put something on top of it. Um, it's got this like panel on the bottom. It is black. It is polyester, so it's easy to wipe um, when the baby wets it. All right. I put a towel. You definitely don't want to put anything like soft, right? But the towel is fine, or like a blanket. And my baby slept beautifully in it. Okay. So it is not heavy. I would say it's about 10 pounds, maybe 12, without a baby. Um, that's a good thing. And it's a winner over pack and play because you can carry it between the rooms from room to room and it fits through the door as opposed to pack and play when you have to fold it and it does not fold. So that's a really good thing. You know, you can carry it from room, you can carry it to the kitchen and a living room if you want to, um, you know, carry it with a baby. Okay. My son is in. He's about three months old. Hi, sweetie. He's going to be three months next week. He was born a preemie, but he's catching up nicely. He is 13 and a half pounds right now, I think, um, and about 23, 20 something inches. But anyway, what I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say that um, sometimes when he gets fussy, he's getting there, he starts kicking on the side. And he's, all, of course, he's getting stronger. So he pushes himself all the way to the top and he hits his head on the other side because there isn't not much, well, there's not much room anymore. So he's getting bigger. And he's just too big for this bassinet. At this point, we just don't want to put him in there. Another thing, he doesn't like it anymore because he's getting interested in surroundings. So he doesn't want to look up at the ceiling. He wants to look around. So um, I guess bottom line is $120, $130 uh, for only you know two, three months of use, maybe four if you have a smaller baby. Maybe you'll be able to use it for a little bit longer. But uh, that's the only downside. Um, like right now, I guess he's ready for a crib. So I think I, I have said what I wanted to say. I covered most of the things. I definitely like this product. I would recommend it. You're going to love it. <laughs> it's just the only thing is you're not going to be able to use it for, um, for a very long time. However, like I said, you have to sort of balance between this and pocket play because you can move it around easier. It's not, it's not heavy. Um, it fits through the door so you can carry it as opposed to puck and play and um, it is your decision. But in general, I think, I, I think it's a good product. It's just a little bit, pri it's a little pricey for, uh, for the amount of use you're going to have. Thank you guys for watching.